Alright, Kelly, coming back at you with another video. Um, if you hear my toilet running in the back, ignore it. Um, I kind of had to do like a ghetto fix it real quick because the maintenance man here creeps me out and I don't want him in my apartment. So I'm just gonna have to deal with this until I move out. And maybe I'll get sick of it and have him come fix it. I don't want to though. I don't like him. He's very creepy. But um, as you can see from the title of this video, today we are going to be doing a what I spend in a week video. Um, I know this was a trend like months and months ago, maybe even longer than that, but I, um, <laughs> I was in college, so it's not like, when it was a trend, I was in college, so it wasn't like I was like spending money enough to do this video, you know? I was working and saving, that was it. But like now that like I have my own apartment, you know, I have pets, I have bills, I have all of the stuff that I need to spend money on, so I figured I'd just do a little, what I spend in a week, this is like teenage version i work like 30 hours a week almost full time full time is like 35 30 something like that so i work almost full time and i do save i try to save at least 500 dollars a month i put in my savings i don't really have a savings account i just i leave everything in my one bank account in case i need to pull it like right now i'm buying a car on friday so instead of pulling everything from my bank account and my savings and whatever i just have one bank account and it makes it a lot easier for me so that way if i do need to pull it i don't have to deal with penalties i don't have to deal with like pulling it from a different account any of that um i just i keep like i track like i need to have this much saved once it hits this i cannot touch it and i usually don't get that close to it that i touch it because even with like saving at least 500 dollars a month i still do have a lot of cushion so i'm just gonna tell you guys what i spent for a week in december i have been i started tracking my expenses i do it all on my i have a bank app so um the dates aren't necessarily perfectly accurate because like if i make a transaction on the weekend it might not show up until during the week or some transactions show up days later or something so it's not a hundred percent accurate as to like exactly the day that i spent it but i do write down every single thing that comes out of my account um what it was like where it was from what it's for all of that and i also do the same with my income because i have only fans income plus like my job and all of that so that way i can track how much i'm getting from work how much i'm getting from only fans and all of that every month it just makes my life a lot easier and yeah so let's just get into this um so we are doing from the 15th to the 22nd of december i don't, i just chose this at random i was like what's a week that i didn't buy like a lot of christmas presents i did still buy some christmas presents because i buy things sporadically so i did buy some christmas presents but I, like that doesn't really factor into it as much so we're gonna see how much i spend each day and then in the entire week and of course because this is the month of december and i was buying christmas presents it is a little higher than normal I also tried not to get, I don't ex remember exactly when I was in quarantine, but I tried not to do the weeks that I was in quarantine because I couldn't go grocery shopping. My boyfriend couldn't go grocery shopping for me because he had it too, COVID. So we ordered a lot of food because we couldn't go get groceries. So like my spending while I was in quarantine was really high and I, yeah, so. Um, so for the first day of that week, the 15th, it was a Tuesday. I door dashed a Wegmans sub and cookies and that cost me $16. And my Amazon Prime bill came out of my account, which was $14. So for that day in total, I spent $30. And then the next day, Wednesday, I went to TJ Maxx and I spent $24 on clothes, which isn't bad for me. I usually spend a lot. I think I went with Raina. I think this is when Raina and her sister were out here and I just, I was looking at clothes and I was like, you know what? Let me just get a few things. So that's all I spent in that day. Pretty good. And then the next day, it was a Thursday. I purchased the Lights on the Lake tickets because for Christmas, me and Michael, um, when I got out of work on Christmas, oh no, when he got out of work on Christmas Eve, we drove out to his parents' house and Lights on the Lake, his parents live an hour and a half away. So it was an hour from my house, but like a half an hour from like his parents' house. It was like right kind of in the middle almost. And so we stopped there on our way to his parents' house and I bought the tickets. It was actually funny. I, he told me to buy the tickets, so I bought the tickets, but I, I was never like, hey, I bought the tickets. So he bought tickets too, thinking that I didn't. And then um, they wouldn't refund mine. 
So we both bought tickets. I mean, it was only $12 with tax. So it wasn't like a lot of money, but like we both bought tickets and we could only use one of them, which was annoying, but yeah. And then I also had a purchase come out from Amazon for $8 for these little contact remover things because I'm getting contacts. I was supposed to get them sooner, but my eyeglass place is closed because they're like switching locations. So, and I couldn't go because I was in quarantine. They started switching locations right after I got out of quarantine. So I didn't have time to go. So I'm going to a different place because I don't want to wait a bunch of weeks. Like this is happening like one to two weeks sooner. So I'm going this Friday to get contacts. And I normally have acrylics. I don't have them right now because I have to take a contacts class. And I already tried it with acrylics and I couldn't do it. My eyes are really small and the nails just get in the way. So I have like flat end tweezers and like this little suction cup thing. I'm going to learn how to use those to take out and put in my contacts. And then I'm going to get acrylics again. But yeah, I bought that. So that day I spent $20, which again, wasn't very bad. I've been doing a lot better about not spending a lot of unnecessary money. I was doing it a lot for a while and I'm getting better at it. And then the next day, Friday, um, so I did get some Christmas presents this week. Um, me and Michael went to Petco and I got Django and Jack's because I knew I was getting Jack's a few days before Christmas. So I got them both some like Christmas presents. I mean, I, cause I had, <laughs> they're both sleeping on my bed and it's so funny looking the way Django's sleeping. But um, I had some cat toys from when I had a cat temporarily, but I wanted to get like Jackson like more toys and like Christmas presents. And I was getting Django a few more things. So I spent $43 on their Christmas things. I got like three toys for each of them, I think. And then, um, me and Raina went to Charlie's and I spent $12 there. So in total that day, I spent $55. But because it was Christmas presents, like you can't get mad. And then I didn't spend any money that Saturday. And then Sunday the 20th, I spent $45 on groceries at Walmart. That was, all, that was the only purchase I made that day. And then the Monday the 21st, I spent $23 at Target. I like ordered it online and it was a Christmas present for Michael's mom and then I spent $65 on groceries at Walmart. I have to do my grocery shopping in small increments because I don't have a car. I'm getting a car finally but like I have to walk home with my groceries so I can't buy everything all at once so uh, like a few days in a row I'll just do a little bit of shopping and then I'm good for like the next week or two or three or whatever besides like milk and stuff like that. So depending on like this day was probably a day where I got like smaller stuff that wasn't so heavy so I could carry more of it home comfortably. The day before was probably like milk or orange juice and like heavier or like cereal. Cereal boxes take up a lot of space so in a bag. So you know it all depends on what I have to get and how much room I have and how heavy it is. So in total that day I spent $88 but again I also it was grocery shopping and Christmas presents. And then the following Tuesday, the next day, I spent two dollars at Walmart for a snack while I was at work. I don't remember exactly what I got, but I bring like a granola bar, a cereal bar, and gummies to work in my purse every day because I do have like I think I have diabetes. I haven't been to the doctor yet for it because I can't find a new doctor around here. But like I'm 95% sure because I'll like it. I'm assuming it's I get low blood sugar and I feel like I'm gonna pass out and I have to like eat snacks and sugar and stuff to like make me feel better. So I think I have diabetes. Love that. But yeah, so sometimes I go through all of my snacks, it, you know, being hungry and with this problem, and I have to buy something at work. But I only spent $2, so it's okay. So in total for that week, I spent $195. But I also, that includes Christmas presents and grocery shopping. Usually I probably would spend a little less, but this is also a grocery shopping week for me. So um, that's not a lot. If I spent that every week, that'd be a problem. But I usually probably spend anywhere from like one to two hundred dollars a week between like bills, like because I have like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon. I only have Amazon for now because me and Michael watch are watching a show on it, and then uh, I figured while we're watching the show, I might as well watch Teen Wolf because the only place you can watch it is on Amazon Prime unless you find one of those like free illegal show websites, and I can't get that on a smart TV. So I'm just paying for Amazon Prime for now, and then once I finish Teen Wolf and me and Michael finish our show, I'm gonna get rid of it. But yeah, so that is how much I spend in a week as a 
19 year old girl living by herself with two pets. Part of my groceries were pro could have been like dog food. I didn't have Jax yet. I just bought Christmas presents for Jax. I got them like a few days later. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, It's pretty short and simple. I don't know if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff. I just, I'm trying to do more lifestyle videos and I, these were really popular a while back. So I figured I'd just, you know, give it a try. If y'all hate it, I'll never do it again. But if you like it, let me know and I'll do it again. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It'll let me know if I should do more videos like this, all right? If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. It'll also let me know that you hated this and I won't do it again. But if you enjoyed this video, my channel, or my content, be sure to press that subscribe button down below and turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload, which, by the way, is every Tuesday and Saturday at 2 p.m., not 3, 2 p.m. I will have all of my social medias linked down below. You guys should be sure to check those out. And comment down below if you like this video, you didn't like it, you have any other video suggestions, or you just want to talk. I love to chat with you guys, all right? And I will see you soon with another new video. Peace. Uh,